So let's take our next question. That is question number four. The question you see here belongs to chapter work, power, and energy. As per the question, a body A of mass 4m moving with speed u collides with another body B of mass 2m at rest. The collision is head-on collision and elastic in nature. After the collision, the fraction of energy lost by colliding body A is. So, we have a direct formula for this part. Let's see. So, if you want to see what is the fraction of energy loss, it is directly delta Ke divided by kinetic energy. It is given by 4 m1 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 whole square. Now here we are going to take m1 as 4m and m2 as 2m. When you put down the values you will get this answer as 8 by 9. Let's see which is the best suited option. So among the four options given to us yes option number two would be the right answer to this question. Now let's move on to our next question that is question number five. Now the question you see belongs to chapter wave optics. As per the question in a double slit experiment when a light of wavelength 400 nanometers were used the angular width of first minima formed on the screen which is placed one meter away was found to be 0.2 degrees. What will be the angular width of the first minima if the entire experiment apparatus is immersed in water, right? So let's start with the solution. I hope you remember the formula for the angular width in of a fringe that is given by beta by d, right? Now, if you talk when the system is immersed in water, in that case, it would be beta dash by d. And the only relation between beta dash would be equal to beta by mu because the system is dipped inside the water. So now you can easily write that theta dash will be equal to beta by mu d, right? Now this can written be as theta by mu which is equal to 0 0.2 degree divided by 4 by 3. Solving this you will get theta dash is equal to 0 0.15 degree. So let's see which is the best suited option. Among the four options given to us, yes, option number two would be the right answer. Now let's move on to our next question. That is question number six. So the question you see belongs to chapter electromagnetic induction. From this question, in which of the following devices the eddy current effect is not used? Obviously, the induction furnace, magnetic braking in train and electromagnet involve the concept of eddy currents. The fourth option that is electric heater does not use the concept of eddy current. So answer to this question would be option number four. Now let's move on to our next question that is question number seven.